Hey guys, just sharing a quick video on a uh, six liter power stroke diesel. Um, I'm driving a 2005 Ford F350 now. Driving down the road and it just quit. Like it quit, didn't it didn't give me a warning, didn't give me nothing. Um, uh, figured it to the IPR valve now. In diagnosis of a, of a, a diesel engine like that, a lot of people would say check the ficum, do the dummy plugs, do the pressure test, do the air pressure test. And now, or check for fuel, check for um, water in the fuel, stuff like that. But I eliminated all of that just by telling myself that whatever just quit, seemed electrical, just quit. Didn't give me no warning. Now, if it was fuel related or if it was pressure related, anything like that. I would have seen it over time. I'm pretty sure I would have knew that it would have had a hard time starting. It would have been blowing some sort of smoke if I was losing air. If I wasn't getting fuel, it would be hesitating. Something like that. But in my instance, it just quit. Six liter diesel. So, um, decided to uh, go after the IPR valve. Now, I'm driving down the road and I'm telling you it just quit. It didn't give me no warning, nothing. Just shut down. Just all of a sudden, just shut off. Um, so I did my research and figured it was the IPR valve. Now, in my case, yes, it was. Luckily that I didn't have to do no other stuff than going through the engine. I just automatically assumed the IPR valve, took it out, bench tested it, sure enough, wasn't working. I'll show you in a second here what I'm talking about. Um, made a simple setup. I watched some videos on some guys that did this and then uh, it uh, worked out great. If you look here, once I give it air, it starts coming out of there, I will apply 12 volts to it. Nothing, no change. Then I did get a new one, ordered, ordered it online. It wasn't too bad, wasn't a bad price. So I'll pause the video and come back and show you that, how it's working and how it should work. Hold on a sec. Now, got the other one back in. Now if you look, you're getting some air through there. This one's not getting as much air through it for some reason. But if you listen, stop. As soon as I apply 12 volts to it, it's cutting off the... Getting air through, shuts off. So yeah, IPR valve on mine. I'll do an update on it once after I put it in and let you know how she's running. Just shut it off there. Yeah. See it's off right now. As soon as I apply 12 volts to it, it shuts down. Yeah, pretty neat. Thanks to the guys that made the videos on this. Uh, not sure of their names. Maybe I'll do a shout out on the uh, on their um, YouTube channels on the update on the uh, IPR valve repair. Pretty sure it's going to work. Like I said, fuel related will give you warning. Pressure related will give you a warning. Ficum will also just shut down too. Something electrical, but at least if it just shuts down, you have a chance to check for fuses, check for relays, check uh, your Ficum, make sure your Ficum, make sure this IPR valve is getting power. I know I'm getting power to it. Um, yeah, other than that, I just got another one online. Busted IPR valve on a six liter power stroke. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.